seems like the rain is starting to calm down now, but we had that for a little bit. Just decided to film a little bit, and it shut off. But that heavy rain lasted a while. I hope you can hear me. The last time I recorded a rain video, I know it was kind of hard to hear what I was saying with it pounding down like that. Right now, we're in Maine, about to go into New Hampshire in a couple of minutes. I don't know what road we're on now, but we might cross, we might go by a sign that says the route number. Slowing it down a little bit. Just wanted to shut four wheel drive off. Because now that we're going a little faster without the heavy rain. I don't think I'm actually supposed to use that above 50 miles an hour or so. And I don't think it's capable of shutting off by itself because it's a mechanical shifter. We are on Route 26 West in Maine. Uh, I didn't even see a sign that said we were going over the border. I must have missed it. So, Route 26 in both states, I'm assuming. I don't know if it changes or not when it crosses there. Going on in the area since they started. 
trapping all the beavers. It's that time of year, trapping season. They can finally get rid of them all. And I, I don't know. I'm surprised that they actually wait. Part of me is very surprised. Well, the sun's coming out. I see blue sky over there. Part of me is surprised that they actually wait to move the beavers. It is the right thing to do, and it's the moral thing to do. But they're private companies, so they're not required to wait if it's private property to relocate. Like the state is supposed to wait until the babies are old enough to take care of themselves in case they trap the parents. A private homeowner is not required to do that. Just like I know in Maine and New Hampshire, you don't, you don't even require a hunting permit if it's your own property. I don't think it matters what season either. I know 100% it doesn't matter for a pest animal. I don't know about a game animal. I know a permit's not required, but I don't know if the season matters or not for something you're actually going after for food. I don't even need the wipers now. It suddenly started getting nice and bright. Look at these trees. These ones are starting to turn their fall colors. Got some ponding on the road there. When there's ponding where both the tires are, I try to move over to the edge or out just to get around it. That's the spot you hydroplane where all the heavy trucks are making it sink in a bit. See all these trees? They're tinted. They're about to lose their leaves pretty soon. It feels like winter's coming early this year. We have one hot week of weather coming up for this area, above average. But just for a week, then it'll be back to seasonable, nice, cool temperatures. So we get like a little bit of summer. It hasn't been much of a summer. It's been a cold year. We have a little sneak peek coming. I don't know if that'll make the trees slow down or accelerate. I don't know. But I'm happy that we got some hot weather coming for a week. It'll make the vegetable garden grow a lot. Because I feel it's been stunted from not having enough heat constant rain so for the foreseeable future we don't have any rain in the forecast just a lot of sunshine and heat coming up which is a good thing I guess and I haven't had to use sprinkler timers in over a month we'll get, get those things running again for the garden it's my first year using sprinkler timers and we only had to use them early on in the spring because it wasn't raining never used them before that's just in case I'm not home they weren't great bought them last year on the Walmart's discount shelf. They might be on the discount shelf now, I don't know. Now that they're towards the end of the season, that stuff will all be getting discounted. They worked really good, the sprinkler timers made by Orion. They also work good for supplying water to the frog ponds every couple days in case I wasn't home. Got a nice bright orange tree coming up here. I love after a rainstorm down in the river valleys. You can see all the mist and steam rising up. It looks really nice. That, that person there had a garage sale going inside their garage. And it's a uh, Wednesday. Wonder how many people they'll get going there on a rainy middle of the week like this in a very rural middle of nowhere area. Probably not many. Looks like they just cut down a ton of forest up there to build a housing, housing development. I know neighboring Vermont has a law that they're, that they're not even allowed to do that stuff, which I think is a great thing. Vermont hates developers, and I think that's a great thing. You cannot just build dozens of houses all at once like that. These trees look really nice. We're starting to get a little bit of color here. And we're going to be in town, I think, in a minute because I'm starting to see a lot of more buildings. Coming in 
in there. It's not super bright yet. Let's see if gas is any cheaper around here. like that but it didn't last that long I don't expect any flooding today the sun is bright there's two gas stations in this town one across from the other See which one's cheapest. It's 379, six cents cheaper than my area. And there's one right around the corner, which is usually cheaper. Yeah, a couple cents cheaper, so we'll just come over here to this one then. And we'll get some gas and end the video here now that it has stopped raining. I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching and have a great day.